Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret. Time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, yet outside mere minutes will have passed. Watch out! Pixies! Ugh, ugly and fierce. from intruders, meaning you. Oh, unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? Rather not. Let's go. It's over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't. When they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything. Not one thing. And besides, watch out. Wolves! This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the Red Bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain, no one swallowed it. 
Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Whoops! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue beam. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! Yellow beam. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, refers us the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah. Fine. Let's get to work. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once. That sort of thing. Stole the pea out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. Oh look! The Emperor of Nilfgaard! He's come out to show off his new robe. Come on, Roach. Faster. Come on, you... You... Know what? They need names. I'll call mine... Hmm... Anise. Call mine Roach. Roach? Are you serious? Ugh. Three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit too big, the other too small, the third just right. Blonde curls. The rest of the body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. She got what she deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. No being here. Gotta keep looking.
wizard slippers. From a tale about a wizard from up here. You might not know it. I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But, 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 what brings you? You can always have a drink with us. Oh, what now? Not on your life. I can barely stand I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question. And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me of my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Ah, uh, right there, the threats. Siana to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige, but it won't be easy. The thing is, Little Red Riding Hood's popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Hood now wants at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter. Which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sort of. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. No, rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. Jump in the well. Break a leg. Stop prodding me and find the beans. Luck? Yep, look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought that was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. But Grandmama, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? Hey? The better to eat you with, my dear! What bastard! Remember what Joss said about the red bean? A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. I had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark, from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits. Bearded. Drunk. Spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in. We set off for Nazaire. And I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly, 
And eventually, I became their leader of the whole ragged band. Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster, then a monster you shall get. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come.